Hello everyone. So today I'm going to go over a couple of things, but I first wanted to show you a couple of projects I'm working on. Real quick. I'll feature each one in part. Um, I got a few things left to do a lot of these, so. Um, but yeah. Today what I really wanted to talk about is how I go about putting the finishes on my projects. Tree stained wood conditioner. There you go, a little close up action. I'm not name dropping, it's just what I use. I'm not sponsored by Menwax or anything or any of these companies. Um, and then I'll describe this as cherry wood, sanded 180 and then 320 final. It's real smooth, nice to the touch. This is poplar. Um, it's a piece that I had, same thing, sanded uh, 180 then 320. Pretty smooth, clean. And then these are the dyes I'm going to use. This is a trans tint cordovan and then a trans tint it's a blue and hold on one second this is the actual blue here it's this number 6022 blue trans tint sorry that's an unopened one this one the label came off um, this is just old t-shirt and yeah we're gonna start in on this so old t-shirt this is pretty stained wood conditioner I put a lot on it I just soak this thing right and then I go to my piece and start rubbing it um, basically you want a real heavy I put a real heavy coat of this on several actually um, but you see how the grain is already starting to pop so what this does and I'll explain what what it does or uh, the process um, along the way um, what this part does is it keeps your stains and your dyes from splotching um, so it basically evens out all the low spots and the, the heavy grains and stuff and it puts like a real thin layer from what I was told and what I've read a real thin layer of like a filler inside of it seals it off um, Okay, so there's that one and I'll do this a few times um, that way that your piece it doesn't get splotchy um, as you're staining it and you get a bunch of like dark spots or uneven uh, stains and dyes so yeah on this one I'll just keep till I find fig feel like I've got enough on it um, for the dye all right so for me, that's pretty couple of pretty good lo liberal coats. So it's just quite a bit on there, and you can see it's kind of glossy because I left it all. I don't dry mine off. I just let it set um, for a little bit until it, you know, you can tell it is starting to dry, and then I'll come back and then you'll I'll show you the dye process. So I want to explain that real quick while this is kind of setting up. This stuff, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves. I found out the hard way with the green one that it's really really. Uh, concentrated I guess so like if you get it on your fingers and hands and things things it won't come out of um, hands fingers it takes about four days for it to wash out of your skin um, so I had to walk around my normal job with green fingers for about four days um, so I definitely would wear gloves um, it doesn't smell like anything and then this stuff can be um, mixed with water or denatured alcohol I'll show you what I use this one right here um, I like the water better than the alcohol because the alcohol tends to spread with the grain too much um, but that's how you dilute it or thin it out for these purposes I'm gonna go straight dye because I liked the effect it gave the wood last time um, so we're gonna try it again with these two colors on both woods so what I do is I just take and put some straight dye on a rag and put it directly on. See, this still isn't dry yet. I just gave it a few seconds, like maybe a 20 count, 30 count. It's still going to be kind of slick. And then I just put straight dye on the rag and right on the wood. And then I just use what was there and I smoothed it out till it had the same like tone all the way around effect right there. All right, we'll do the poplar now. Same thing with the poplar. <clears throat> I just put some on the rag. And then 
started with one spot, just kept smoothing it out with this. I went back and forth and then side to side to get it in all those because this is a really heavy grain you kind of see still didn't get it all but that's okay it'll help with the effect later and i'll show you why now we're going to do some blue just to, to see what happens and this is the finished product <clears throat> straight dye on the rags leave this on don't wipe it off and this is what you're left with i'm really 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 digging the cherry this with the clear coat on both these is going to be phenomenal and i'll go over this whole process as i do it on the canes that i'm actually going to put these on so that's the cherry this is the poplar still looks real good uh, so i'm kind of anxious to see what this one looks like with the clear coat on it all right i'll update with the clear coat thanks for watching